Razavan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to have me today, my man, Mr. Sam Jones. Sam, firstly, how's the missus and how's the house moving going? Yeah, good, mate. Moving out on, um, on Friday and, uh, yeah, missus is ready to ready to pop anytime soon. How far? What's the date? Um, he's due in May the 30th, but pff, by the looks of her, <laughs> any any time, any time soon, mate. Thanks for asking, though. No worries, mate. Good to hear you're doing well, though. Um, Thank Sam, you very um, much. Lot of, lots happening in boxing. It's quite a busy month of boxing. We've got Canelo, Billy Joe. We've got Josh Taylor later on the month. We've got Devin Hendel and Iris. Let's go back to last week. Obviously, Frank Warren had a show. We It was kind of put together as Queensbury versus Matt Yeah. Uh, Denzel, Was- Denzel versus Felix. Denzel Washington, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <to> Denzel Washington. <laughs> uh, yeah. Felix, well, great, great little fight was built up to be, uh, but Felix just completely dominated. Yeah, and um, I, I speak to Denzel a lot. I, I, he's, he's, you couldn't meet a nicer kid than 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 Denzel. But I'm just, I'm just on it, honest when it comes to like, if somebody asks me who I think is going to win a fight, I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I might sit on the fence today with a few, but um, I used I'll give you an honest opinion. I thought Cash was just that too experienced, got got a bit too much ex- bit too much experience for Denzel, especially at this point. And ultimately, the level showed on the night. I I, I did say I, I thought Cash would stop him a bit later than what happened, but um, listen, it is what it is. Denzel's still a young man; he's got a good coach, um, uh, and he and he'll come again. But Cash Cash is he, he looks some fighter, doesn't he? Is it is it a good good thing here where we saw Matchroom and I know it went to purse bid. I know Frank won the purse. Yeah, yeah. We need to see more of these. You know, they've got a great. Oh, oh absolutely, De- definitely. Like you saw Liam Williams fighting Andrade and um, uh, on the on Eddie's show, and then you've seen the roles reversed. Cash going to fight uh, Denzel on 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 a one of Frank's show. It's great for boxing. This is how this is how it sh- this is how it should be. No, absolutely. Um, David Ad- Adelaide, obviously, uh, in, in a big fight as well against Sokolowski, if I say pronounce his name. Um, yeah. Quite bizarre that, because everyone I saw on Twitter had him potentially losing every round bar one. Maybe it was close. Yeah. But yeah. I saw your comments as well. I saw other people's comments as well. And, and he, he got the decision. And even Frank said he thought David had won that fight. Yeah, I I, ju- I, di- I didn't really make I didn't make a comment. I I just scored it as as the fight was going on. I and I had Sokolowski going five nil going into the last round, um, and Big David. I speak to we. I talked to Big David. Oh, I've got a lot of time for Big David. I, I've known him for quite a few years before he was before he turned professional. He was sparring David Hay in the Haymaker Gym. I've got a lot of time with him, but I was just scoring it as as I saw it, and I saw Sokolowski five nil going into the last round, and David needing a KO to, to, to win the fight but listen the referee experienced guy he's, he saw something that that that, that, I, that I did that I didn't and fair enough it is it is it is what it is I think he'll learn a lot from from that but I, I didn't see it like that I thought Sokolowski won but boxing's a subjective sport and you can we can we can debate it for as long as we as we want but ultimately it's not going to change anything hopefully Sokolowski gets a rematch with him and David uh, performs a lot better than um, than than what he did the the uh, the, fir- the first time around. Is it fair though? Because every time everyone always speaks about it's a subjective sport. Yes, we know it's a subjective sport. Mm-hmm. When you, you can't be so wide in 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 kind of decision making, you know, we can understand close cards can go either mm-hmm. way, split decisions or or two or three mm-hmm. rounds. But when something's so obvious, for mm-hmm. it to go completely from left to right, surely something more needs to be done in the sport. Yeah, it's not for me. It, it, it isn't for me for me to say. I've commented on it. It's not. It's not for me to to say. Um, but look, you, you saw it happen in in Spain. In Spain, you do get the, the odd, the odd kind of strange decision. But at the same time, is it, it is it is it just is what it is. What it is. I mean, um, some some. As, as I say, like the, the referee is obviously closer to the action than what we are as well. He might have seen because when you are watching boxing, sometimes sometimes we can probably miss a shot that lands kind of clean, or when we see a shot that thinks lands, it doesn't land. Do you know what I mean? I think the referee scored that fight. So, listen, it is what it is, and David Adelaide will will learn a lot from from uh, from that from that performance. What I'd like to think he would um, kind of go back to basics, kind of thing. This is why. When he was calling out Nathan Gorman, I thought it was way off because Nathan's a skilled boxer. I know he's still only a young man himself, Nathan, but he's 
he's he's a level above D- David Adelaide at the moment. He he, re- he really is, and I think that David needs to just concentrate on on his own path at the moment, and then worry about the big boys when 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 you get there. Probably go and fight Sokolovsky again, kind of not prove people wrong because it's about proving yourself right. Go go and kind of revisit that that um, that fight, and then move on with your career. Move on with your your career. No, absolutely. Um, this week, Frank Warren obviously got a show on Friday night. Uh, Sunny yeah. Edwards attempts to become a world champion. Uh, fighting, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the pronunciation of his name is Tuma Mar- 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 Maruti Mathalane. Ma- yeah, Ma- 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 Maruti. But yeah, something, some, 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 something, something like that. Something like that. Um, he's an experienced guy, though. I've, I've been watching him today. Uh, very, very tough fight for Sonny Edwards. This is not a, a, a this is not a cherry picked world title fight for Sonny Edwards. And listen, massive credit to him for taking this fight. Um, Sonny Edwards' skill set is up there with with the best in the United Kingdom, definitely. Um, we've we've seen him troubled a, a few times, but like as I say, Marcel Braithwaite uh, put him uh, put him over. I think he got dropped another by is it Farag? I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not certain who it, who it, who it was. I'm sure. I can't remember what fight it was, but it, I know he was put over before. But he's got up to win. He's shown a lot, Sonny. Do you know what I mean? He's been hurt, he's been hurt. He's got back up. He's won. I think he's took this fight ex- incredibly serious. And I wish I really wish him all, all the all the best for this because it's a really really um, really tough fight he's got in, in front of him. Absolutely, M- match room obviously on Saturday night. Big fight. Yeah, man, you know well Derek Tazora and Joseph yeah. Parker, somebody you know well as well. So you know both fight yeah. as well. Is it a good fight for both fighters at this stage of their career? Yeah, it's, it's 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 a good it's a great fight. Um, Derek always kind of brings value, doesn't he? Where win, lose, draw, he, he bring he brings value. He's good entertainment, isn't he, Derek? Um, Joseph Parker, I thought possibly nicked his last his last fight, but he was it was it it could have gone either way that fight with Junior Four. I think the scoring there was a bit bit a bit a bit off. But um, look, Joseph Parker's a former world heavyweight champion, but. It, Joseph Parker's not had a significant win for a long time, like a, a proper significant win. And, and he's not looked great for, for, for quite a bit now, uh, Joseph Parker. I think he will be the first to admit that. But now he's, he's brought in somebody who I think is an unbelievable trainer and an unbelievable guy. Like, like he's, 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 he's just brilliant. Andy Lee, great move, for, um, great move when it comes to maybe a freshening things up. Kevin Barry's a great, great coach. But um, for Joseph Parker, he probably needed something fresh because when you do the same thing over and over again you probably can become a bit a bit stale and that's what how he, how his last performances have looked if I'm honest um so Andy Lee great trainer Chisora has brought in uh, Buddy McGirt one of the best trainers in the world so I, I see Joseph Parker winning the fight if I'm honest I think that I think he stops Derek as well I think I think it, I think it goes late because Chisora is going to come out like a bull in a china shop, like he like he always does. Um, but I, I see, I saw Usyk wobble Chisora once in that fight. As much as well as he performed, Usyk's not a big puncher, and he wobbled Derek. And Derek's always been known for a great chin, but there's only so much much a human body can can keep taking. And and the older Derek gets, I think his punch resistance is not quite what it was. Um, and I think Joseph Parker is going to stop him on Saturday. I could be well wrong. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't surprise me if even Derek won, but my gut is telling me that Joseph Parker is going to win by, by stoppage on on, uh, on Saturday. Sam, you obviously have Joe Joyce, and he went from Abel Sanchez to Salas, mm-hmm. Salas to Booth, Booth back to Salas. He's moved about a bit. Now, obviously, with Joe Joyce, uh, sorry, with Joseph Parker, he's only had six to eight weeks with Andy Lee. Is that risky going into such a high profile fight against a dangerous puncher like Chisora with only that much time preparation with a new with a new coach no because he doesn't really need to be taught how to box it was like just more fresh ideas kind of thing he's not like a he's not a three fight novice a four fight novice he's he's only going to add to the game so no i don't believe that that makes that's going to make a blind bit of difference if i'm honest so you think parker can stop Chisora? yeah i I, th- I think he's i think he will yeah i mean I'm a I'm a massive fan of Derek. Like like for like over the years watching Derek, he's he's a madman, isn't he, Derek? Like you don't know what he's going to turn up. He's going to colour himself in with whatever he did last time. It's he's he's a, he's a he's a madman, isn't he? But he's great value and he's great entertainment. He's been good for boxing as Derek. But I just think that 
as much as he's 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 Ruben Tabares is training him like he's he's really fit. He's uh, he's he's taking boxing really seriously, but that doesn't change the fact that he, he, he's not a, a fresh. How, how I think he's thirty six. He's not a fresh thirty six year old. Do you know what I mean? He's been in a lot of tear ups, Derek. So I, I just yeah that that I see I see Joseph Parker being. A, a rejuvenated Joseph Parker, and I think he's going to be uh, uh, a little bit too sharp for Derek on on Saturday. But I wouldn't be surprised if 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 if, if Derek pulled it out of the bag because he's known to pull it out of the bag every now and again. Um, he's uh, you, you don't you don't really know with Derek, do you? But my my uh, my my prediction will be Joseph Parker to win to win uh, via TKO. The undisputed women's champion Katie Taylor returns against Natasha. Yeah, because obviously. They fought each other in the Olympics, which Katie won quite. Uh, Watched it, yeah, quite great fight on, on, the, on the cards as well in the Olympics. So, um, good opportunity for, for for Natasha to kind of showcase to show what she's got left. Yeah, amazing opportunity for for Natasha. Do you know what I mean? I thought she was, I, I thought she was very unlucky not to get the decision against Terry Harper, um, and that was a great fight in its in itself. Um, she's a huge underdog in this fight. There's, there's no there's no secret about that, but who knows if she performs how she did against Terry Harper. Um, Katie Taylor can be beat. Katie Taylor can be beat. I mean, I think Katie Taylor is just the greatest of woman of all, woman fighter of all time, only because of what she's given to the sport and how she's kind of paved the way for all these girls coming through. She's absolutely an incredible person. If you watch her story on the Netflix, it's, it's just unbelievable what she's done for, for women's sport in general, not just boxing. Um, but she can be beat. I fought the first fight against um, Pursun. I thought she lost that fight in, in New York. I thought she was also looking to get the one in fight, fight camp as well. I thought it was, well, it was very, it was close. It was very, very close. So she she's beatable. But Katie, Katie Taylor's got to be, got to go into the fight as the favourite. Um, but it's a fight I'm really looking forward to. If anything, to be honest with you, that could be the main event itself. No one, well, I wouldn't have argued if that was the main event. And, Parker and Chisora was the was the co was the co feature in that fight because it's 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 a it's a really really great fight um, great fight I'm really looking forward to it looking forward to the whole show if I'm honest both shows BT and and Eddie's show good to see Chris Eubank Jr back in the UK he hasn't fought here I think since James DeGale he's had I think two rounds yeah. against Kovarov on a PBC show or was it a Fox show I can't remember yeah. um, in, inactive inactivity too, too, way too in, inactive. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr. But I expect him to, to to get the job done on Saturday night against against Marcus Morrison um, in, in pretty pretty good style. And I just want to see him in some in some proper bangers. I want to see him against the, the Liam Williams of the world and the Andrade's. I think Liam Williams uh, uh, Eubank against Andrade. What a fight! Make that fight next. Um, I would I would I would love to see that fight. But yeah, in inactivity. Is not good for for anybody, and Eubank Junior is not getting any younger himself. So um, I, 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 it's, it's good to see him back. Also good to see fighters when they get offered offered the opportunity to fight for the world title, they take it with both hands. Yeah. Craig Richards against Dimitri Bivol. Um, Bivol is regarded as one of the best in, in the light heavyweight division, and and Richards saying, "No, I'm going to go there and prove him wrong and win that title." He's very confident. Yeah, look, I mean, I I said to it goes the old saying, isn't it, Muhammad Ali saying, "He who." Uh, doesn't dare to to believe or I can't I don't know the exact the exact quote it was um, um he, he's he's daring to be great Craig Richards he, he's daring to be great and I wish him I wish him all the best obviously Bivol you've got to you've got to put him as a as a massive favorite but Craig Richards um is a lot better than what people think he is like he's a lot but he's, he's put some of his he's had a, I know he had a lackluster performance in your call I think it was a year or two ago um I can't remember. It was it Chad Sugden? I think he fought in the York Hall. He was very, very lacklustre. Um, but his last performance against Shakan Pitters, my God, what a performance that was! So, listen, I wish Craig all the best. Now, I would absolutely love to see uh, Craig win that fight on Saturday. We got obviously Campbell Hatton making his second professional fight. Obviously mm -hmm. in Manchester, quite uh, ironic. Obviously, obviously he's from yeah, the yeah. Fought there. Did you ever thought one day you'll have Nigel Ben, Chris Eubank Senior? Um, who else you got? Ricky Hatton's son, Prince Nassim's sons are coming through as well now. Like yeah. these legends will 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 
we'll, we'll, we'll have children who then also will take, take part in the sport. It's amazing to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's great to see. I mean, people were getting on the back of uh, young Campbell and his, and his lack of his points, but just give him, give him chance. You know what I mean? He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. His dad's Ricky Hatton, one of the most exciting fighters in British boxing history, one of the biggest fan bases this country's ever seen. Give him time. Do you know what I mean? Give it. Give him time. Let him. Let him develop before you make any kind of judgment on him. He's just. He's got a great platform behind him. Um, debut on Sky. He's only a young kid. G- give him. Give him time before you. You make. A, you make judge. Make a. Make a judgment on him. Mm, interesting. Okay, um, Sam. I want to move on to the heavyweight division. Obviously, there's a lot of great fights that have already been made, uh, and uh, hopefully, there's some fights that are going to be announced soon as well. Um, let's jump straight to the top of the tree. Joshua Fury. Now, mm-hmm. Eddie's very confident that this fight is going to take place. Site deal has been reached. Um, yeah. Bob Arum did an interview, which I saw earlier this morning on Boxing Scene, where he's not confident that uh, this fight actually takes place. He's talked yeah. about, he hasn't heard from Eddie since last week. Uh, the yeah. site deal hasn't been put into contract yet. So there's a lot of things that he's talked about. And I'm yeah. guessing, based on the fact of whether AJ Fury happened, is also if Joyce. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a secret, is there? There's like a bit of a backlog of of what's of what's happening. But listen, I'm confident the fight's going to happen. I mean, I'm not. It's none of my business, is it? Like, like it's 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 um my business is Joe Joyce. So I'm hoping, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the fight is going to happen. Um, but let's see. I mean, the fights for me, it's just too big not to happen. And I think the, the not just boxing, I think the world needs that fight. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a, it's a mega event, isn't it? Fury against uh, AJ. So let's, let's hope that fight gets happened. And then, and then we'll get uh, Joy Susick on the, uh, on the, on the, on the road too. But can you confirm then that there will be no announcement for Joe Joyce Usyk until we see announcement for a, you wouldn't have thought so, logic. mate. No, I w- you wouldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have thought so. You can never, you can, you, it's not, not a hundred percent, but you, you wouldn't have thought so, mate. No. Interesting. Okay. We've obviously seen Hergovic, Hunter, first bids, went to first with Eddie. Great fight. Great fight. Uh, a man you know very well, a man you rate, a man I know very well as well. Malik Scott shared a picture the other day of him and Deontay Wilder. It mm-hmm. uh, looks like he's, he, they had a little session together. It'd be yeah. nice to see Deontay Wilder back in the, back in the mix as well. I want to see Deontay Wilder stop making weird videos on Instagram and get back in the ring and start blasting people out and do what he's good at. Uh, that's what I want to see. I want to see Deontay Wilder back in the mix with fire in his belly and and uh, get back into the heavyweight mix because some great fights for him. I mean, him against Dillian White. Listen, him against Joe Joyce. Who knows down the line? There, there, there's some there's some huge fights to be made in the heavyweight division, and hopefully they all they all um they all they all get made. I mean, there's some huge fights coming up in the Billy Joe Canelo. There's there's Josh Taylor Ramirez. Let's make the biggest. Let's make uh, the 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 biggest fights. No, absolutely. Obviously, some of your fighters, snipers, obviously out uh, May fifteenth. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to finally getting him out and and seeing him in action. Yeah, I mean, he fought earlier this earlier this year. Um, so it's a quick for, for Larone. It's it's, a, it's been a quick turnaround, to be honest. So he's uh, he's firing all cylinders. He's spotted. I've just this second come off the phone to him. He's really in a good place. He's uh, and this is a huge fight for Larone. He can change his life. This kind this type of fight. Yeah, win that belt and then and then uh, we've got some big plans for him. Uh, what was the latest with Florian Marco? I know he's had a bit of an operation. I think he's had. Yeah, uh, he's he's had a, he's had a little operation on. Um, on his hand and uh he'd be back in july what weight would he be back i know he's talked about he could fluctuate between 140 147 i don't know i i don't know we might we'll, we'll, we'll see we're, we're, we're still not 100 percent. so one thing's for certain he's, he's coming off a big win um so we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make a decision very soon on that to be honest i think particular names are targeting you look at 140 we've seen him and O'Hara go back and forth 147. I know he's called out Conor yeah. Ben. Conor Ben's obviously looking at world titles, etc. So, is there yeah, kind of yeah. a, a name, a, a particular route that you want to take? I mean, look, in the 140 division, there's, there's some great fights. There's uh, Ritson. There's some there's some some top top fights for him in this country. But Florian Florian can go to America and, as I say, and do huge numbers in New York. I mean, there's a huge Albanian community in 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 in, in New York and. 
if Florian goes there, my God, if, if funds are allowed back, there's going to be a serious party when 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 that happens. So there's, we've got a lot of options with with Florian in, in, in either division. I mean, I mean, I would like to see Florian in, in the 140 pound division because I think he'd be a beast at that weight. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. It's all about it's different getting getting down to a weight and performing at the weight. So we'll we'll see what uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. Sam, I'll end on this. A lot of rumours going around at the moment about Eddie Hearn potentially leaving Sky and moving to the zone. Eddie did yeah. an interview with IFL the other day and he said he, no announcement was going to be made just yet. Um, I'm sure you've read into it. I'm sure you're interested in see what Eddie does and, and what manoeuvres he does. And obviously Sky's a big player. It's a big powerhouse as well. What does Sky do if Eddie does go, if that is a decision? What kind of, what kind of have you made of everything so far? Um. I think it's been like there's, there's, there's an elephant in the room, isn't there? There's been an elephant in the room for a while about Eddie leaving leaving Sky, and if he does, I'm I'm sure I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Sky is a, a, a huge platform, a really huge platform. So it if Eddie does leave it, I'm sure it'd have to be for with for good reason. So we'll we'll see what uh, we'll see what uh, see what happens there. I know in the American, I, I remember speaking to Lennon Denoby and talking about Javante Davis potentially fighting someone like a Ryan Garcia or a Devin Haney and Lenders like mm-hmm. I'm not letting my fighter leave a major broadcast and fight on an app those are the words that Leonard LB has used obviously yeah. if the zone was to launch in the UK again this this subscriber account won't be anything near Sky Sports so as a manager when you look at that do you do you look at finances do you look at exposure do you look at where's bets where are the audience to see your fighter well, I think the world's kind of changing, isn't it, a little bit, like in the sense of um, apps and watching things on like the Netflix and uh, it's a good question, mate. If I'm honest, mate, I don't, I don't really. All I know is, is Matchroom's a good, a, a phenomenal promotional company, and I think they wouldn't, they wouldn't, even though it's not confirmed yet, because I don't know, mate. I'm just speculating like everybody else. It's not, it's, it's not my business to, to know that until it's public, kind of public knowledge. The, 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 the rumours are heavy that he is doing that. And if he is, he'd obviously, they're not stupid people. Do you know what I mean? So I'm sure that there is, there is good reason to, to, for, for, for leaving. So I guess we'll, we'll see how it, uh, how it, um, how it plays out. No, absolutely. We all look forward to many. Is Billy Joe, wait a minute, is, is, I don't know whether, is Billy Joe against Canelo on, on the zone? I think it is, isn't it? That's right. Yes. Yeah, great fight. People are writing off Billy Joe Saunders for that fight. I think they're crazy. I think, um, I mean, he won't knock him out. I'm, I'm almost certain of that. I mean, Golovkin's the biggest punch I've ever seen in my life, like in the flesh. So, um, but boxing, boxing skill. If people think Billy Joe hasn't got the know-how to 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 to, to cause Canelo problems, they're, they're they're crazy. But Canelo has struggled with. Lara, he lost to Mayweather. He, he can he can be. He's not invincible. He's I'll be honest. He's looked invincible in the last few fights, but I, I'm I'm rooting for, for for Billy Joe in that fight. Taylor against Ramirez kind of going under the radar as well. Great fight. I think Josh Taylor's going to knock him out. To be honest, I think he's going to be undisputed champ. Taylor's also talk about he'll love have that Manny Pacquiao fight at one uh, one forty. I think Manny Pacquiao. How old's Manny Pacquiao now? I don't even know how old he is. Um, I've got to be 44, 43, 44 now. Like, he's an old guy now. He's getting on. No, absolutely. But the crazy thing is, Manny's actually fought in four different decades. Yeah, I won't about- go into I, I won't go into my opinions of, 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 of that, but that's the, yeah, we won't. He's, he's, he's on about his eighth prime now, isn't he, old Manny? So, yeah, we'll leave that one there. Uh, all right, Sam, always a pleasure, my man, catching up with you. Um, again, all the very best with your missus. I'm sure, well, if she's due end of this month, I'm not sure we'll squeeze another interview, but if I don't, all the very best. I'll bring him on. I'll bring him on, IFL, for his, his debut. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not, Sam? Sam Jones, yeah. IFL TV, thank you very much. Cheers, Ban. Take care, mate.